How's it going gamers? Welcome to my channel Magneti. My name is Alex and here today we are going to be showing you how to build a intermediate overflow style iron factory. Now before we get started I need to mention that you're going to need for this build you're going to need mark 2 belts 12 smelters, 27 constructors, 6 storage containers, and 3 iron nodes. Pure, preferably pure. Uh, mine are normal, but uh, if you have normal or impure nodes, you can uh, just go like this, pop a couple... What are those called? Fusion balls? I don't, I don't know what the hell they're called right now. Uh, power shards. You can pop a couple power shards in here and you'll be up to capacity 120 parts per minute so as you can see I already started it but the easiest way for me to build this now you can go about it however you want or you can copy me it doesn't really matter um, so find your three nodes and then since my front two here were kind of close and I didn't really want to build super far away to have to be able to make these straight facing forward. I just turn them around and turn the belts at 90 degree angles to come straight into, um, this one just goes through the bottom. It's not actually on the stackable conveyor pole, but the other two are stacked on top of the conveyor pole here. And then once I got done with that, I set up my smelters. So how I'm doing it is I'm going to have my iron rods I'm going to have the left side be all iron rods going into screws, excluding these last two. So I'm going to have four smelters doing iron rods into iron screws. And then these five smelters, if I could select them, will all be for iron plates. And then these two will be for iron rods. And all of those over there, except for the last two, will be for screws. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we ran into a bit of a problem that I didn't realize was gonna be a problem. So this is completely unnecessary and you don't have to do this if you don't want and I'm definitely not going to, but I just kind of drew this out to show you that <clears throat> if you really wanted to save those extra rods, uh, you could if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna underload or underclock the constructors all right now that we have all of the constructors and smelters set up it is time to power it on all right here we are finished product so i'll go through it one more time we got three nodes at 120 on the belts we got the first belt splitting into two going to another splitter splitting into another two to make for four smelters the second belt same thing third belt again the same thing and then on this side, we've got the first smelter providing, excuse me, the first three smelters providing for six constructors to make 15 rods each. And then, sorry, I didn't program these ones yet. 15 rods each going to the screws. And then down here, all the way, if we keep going, we've got iron plates coming out at 20 per minute, going into storage. And then same thing on the other side here, except we've got three of those going on. Same ordeal. And then same thing on this side for the rods, except I forgot to connect this piece here. And that is Mark II, awesome. So that is about it. You take three nodes, Make sure you have the Mark II belts unlocked, and you can split three pure nodes between 12 miners, or three normal nodes with two uh, power cells in each miner to boost it to 120. Or you can half this if you really wanted to, and you could do 60, 60, 60, and then only do three on each side. It would be quite a bit smaller, but that'd be good for a more beginner setup. Okay. 
just had a bit of a backup. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, yeah. That's about it. If you enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like. If you want more content like this, go ahead and subscribe, because I will definitely be uploading more satisfactory videos. Thanks so much. Peace!